Welcome back to the channel. In our last video, we started converting a garden shed into a chicken coop with a lean-to extension for goats. In this video, we will continue the project, finishing up the exterior, painting, making nesting boxes and DIY chicken feeders, installing an automatic chicken door, and a few odds and ends like that. And then finally, we'll introduce our chickens to their new chicken coop. So we hope you enjoy this glimpse into our life on our aspiring homestead. I look classy today. Lime green beanie, kind of a camouflage coat that's completely painted. Yeah, this is the farm, but it's cold out and I don't want to really wear anything that nice because I'm going to be working a little bit more at this chicken coop and I'm going to see if I can figure out how to get a roof over this. So I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of guessing around at things. I cut these two by fours on a 45. I'm going to put some braces into the wall this way and I'm hoping I can get it level and run some other angled ones down, maybe some cross feet. I have no idea what I'm doing. We're just winging this. I'm sure it's not going to turn out so well. We'll see. Eight, nine, it's what? Now I need to figure out what to do next. Eight and a quarter. Okay, eight and a quarter, huh? I think it's pretty level. I think. I am pretty proud of this. It's solid. It's the right angle I wanted. I can build a little roof. I want to put like old oak boards on top. Hopefully that won't be too heavy. We'll keep working at this. This is getting fun. I use a lot of Nolan scrap board pieces that were out there. These are oak. I cut the tops at a 45, so they're gonna snap on like this. Something like that, like so, which I really, really like. So I'm trying to decide if I want to make sure that everything is cut level at the end of the roof, or if I just want it to look kind of like, you know, shabby chic, or however you call it. Sort of just like the shabby look where the ends all end at different spots. Be much easier that way for sure. super pleased with this. Yay! And I kind of like the ends all at odd angles. All right, but over here, I just don't really care how this looks. I'm thinking if I can find enough wood, I'm going to go ahead and try to cover this. So that's what I'm planning to do now. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. I think we're gonna let it. It's about one o'clock. Time to go eat lunch. Now I need to build little roosts in the front for the chickens to stand on. This would probably work, but I still want to build some, maybe a little ladder up to the nest boxes. I also need to make some roosting bars over here. And we need to cut the door in yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. You want to come, come over and look what I made? Feel cool. Like my roof. Wow. Is this by design? <laughs> Is this by design? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I thought it added to the shabby look. If not, I can just run a skill saw yeah, along and no, cut it all off. That's really cool. They aren't going to sit on that. No. Wow, babe. I am impressed. I like the boards. Wow, my husband is getting things done. He had another day off, 
so let's go check it out. Check this out, he even built a little loft with a ladder. Look at you! <laughs> what are you doing up there? Sleep. You're sleeping? Oh, night night. If you're happy and you know it, you can face the day with eyes wide open. Sun is smiling, breeze is blowing, birds are singing, it's a brand new day. Skies are clear, your pockets full of sunshine, starting off a brand new day. Every step is in the right direction, starting off a brand new day. If you're happy and you know it, you can face the day with eyes wide open. Sun is smiling, breeze is blowing, birds are singing, it's a brand new day. La da 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 da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da. Darling, dear, your love is like the springtime. Won't you be my brand new day? Take my hand and tell me that you'll be mine. You'll make every day a brand new day. If you're happy and you know it, you can face the day with eyes wide open. Sun is smiling, breeze is blowing, birds are singing, it's a brand new day. La da 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 da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da, la da 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 da. So today I'm going to be installing a chicken door into our chicken coop. Maybe I should say attempt to install. I got this product, it's called Chick Safe by Brinzia. This is an automatic door opener which is really cool. It doesn't need electricity, it just runs off batteries and according to the company the batteries are supposed to last like six months to a year before you need to replace them and it's just four double A batteries I believe. So the really cool thing about this door opener is it runs off of a light sensor so throughout the year as the sun rises and sets at different times it will always be opening and shutting the door from dawn to dusk. This is really going to be handy because we want our chickens in the coop at night safe and sound and if we ever go on like a weekend trip or a getaway and we don't want to worry about our chickens this thing is going to be taking care of us so i'm really excited to try it out they also sent me a door for the outside of the coop that goes along with this so my husband is out of town for work right now so i was hoping he could do this but i'm kind of anxious to get it started so I'm going to try this. Hopefully I don't wreck anything on the chicken coop because I have to cut an access hole. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. whoa. What, what are you? Are you a chicken? No, I'm just playing out. Look at that. Xander can get out of the hole. Well, I think this one goes in the front. Oops. I put it in! Yay! The string, I think, believe, goes in this door. This will pull it up. 
and get both doors up to here. There we go. All right, I'm now going to install this automatic door opener. There's a string that ties onto the door. It comes with four AA batteries, a battery pack, and I'm very curious to see if it actually holds up for about a year, which would be super nice. It's supposed to hold up in all kinds of weather. It mounts on the outside of the chicken coop and there's a motor inside with a string that you tie this to the door. Very explanatory, so we're gonna go ahead and get this done. <coughs> I have the chicken door mounted. I have the automatic opener, everything ready to go. Now we're ready to test it. So this door opener automatically calibrates on its own. Here's the door. It's holding it up right now at the highest point. So let's go give this a try. Now we'll check back later tonight when it's going to close, when the light drops off, make sure everything's working properly. But yeah, very simple, very explanatory. It was easy to set up and it's a very good price in comparison to a lot of others i've seen so if you want to check it out i'll have links down below and yeah this is so much nicer than just a little wooden door or some kind of manual door you have to open because it gives you so much more freedom you don't have to get up early in the morning to let the chickens out or if you want to go on vacation this is really awesome so thanks to brincia for sending this out to us all right, it kind of happened last minute, but it looks like I might be getting chickens here tomorrow. I'm not quite ready. So I still have to make chicken feeders. I have to make some roosting bars, which I'm just going to use a ladder for that. Just a couple odds and ends to get ready for chickens. So for right now, I'm gonna be making chicken feeders out of PVC pipes. This idea is all over on the internet. It's a really good idea. It's supposed to keep the chickens from not wasting food as much. And because of how it's set up, they also tend to not poop in it. So it's a win-win. I'm gonna try to make one. I actually just got back from the hardware store and I forgot to get plumber's glue. So I'm really hoping my husband has it on hand here. Yay! My husband has about everything you need. For the bottom part of the feeding tube, we got these two different elbows. I don't even know what the degrees are on these, but this is a piece and this is a piece. My husband picked it up. So this is gonna go on the bottom and then the feed comes down there and that's where the chickens peck out of. Pretty basic, pretty self-explanatory. This shouldn't take long at all. Here are my two feeders, and then there's these caps that go on the top. So we put the food in there, travels down, they eat it out of there. And now I'm going to attempt cutting a branch out of a tree for some roosting bars. I'm a little bit worried about this because it's kind of high up. Wish me luck. coming tomorrow it's getting dark I was up all night last night with my dog which was in labor and I hardly got any sleep so I took a nap today I was really tired but now I'm behind on work chickens are coming tomorrow I'm trying to get this done wish I had more daylight so I could film a little bit better but we're hurrying a bar for the chickens roosting bar from the tree All right, I probably won't be showing you much more of the process. I'll just tell you quickly what I want to do. Yet tonight before the chickens come, I need to hang a water waterer from the top. I need to fasten these feeders somewhere to the side. The chicken feed is coming tomorrow with the chickens. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to put straw in the nesting boxes and sawdust on the floor. Oh, the other thing I want to do is make a little ladder that goes up to the roosting nests, the nesting boxes. I'm gonna put the food in here. There. Here, we're gonna make little nests for them. Go get those eggs. Just. Okay. Hey! 
what do you have? Do you have the eggs? Oh, right here. A wreck. Now put one in the nest. Where's go, the yep, nest? go put it in there, in the straw. Well, that's hard enough, isn't it? Okay, don't put it in so hard so that when you get real eggs, you put it in this one. Make a little nest, put it in there. There we go. Okay, now go get the other one. Mommy got another one. Oh, look, this is very brown. Okay. Yep. Put it in a little bit further. Put it back a little bit further. Now like this. Back in there. There we go. Now put one down in here. There we go. Think the chickens will like it? Yeah! Okay, now we need to put their water up here yet. Yeah. Make sure I have this So over here I have the feeders, there's the water, here are three nesting boxes with one underneath. I have my grain under there. Really happy with this, I have an uh, old ladder for roosting bars as well as a tree branch for another roosting bar. And there's their little door. So this was so much fun getting the chicken coop ready. I am now ready to put the chickens in. I'm actually going to stop up this hole for now simply because we have to have the chickens in here for five days or so so they get used to the chicken coop before they get let out. So that's what I'm planning to do. I'm in the cage. You're in the cage. What is it, Xander? Uh, chickens. <laughs> they're going buff, buff, buff. Yeah. They're so, they're so. I think they're ready to get out. Uh-uh. <laughs> Look how excited she is. She's, she's We finally have a gorgeous spring day instead of this cold weather stuff going on. Anyway, we've had the chickens a few weeks now. It's so much fun to go out and get eggs. So I'm gonna go out with Xander and he's gonna get the eggs. <laughs> we just recently started letting the chickens out because we're trying to get grass to come up. It's not been sprouting very well, but we finally decided just to let the chickens out. It might be a bad idea the way they scratch around. But anyway, we're gonna go get some eggs. sure you're not stepping on any. I can see one back there. Mm -hmm. I can see one. Mm. Oh, did you break it? You have to lay it in real gentle. There you go, you don't drop it. Okay, now go get the other two. See the other brown one? There's two little legs. There's two, look at that. They're coming in that Yep, they made real gentle. Good job. Okay, is there any more back in there? Um, no. So we have four 
eggs. There should be five or six. Do they have some outside? Eyes open for eggs. No, no. Where's chicken down in the field? Uh, do you think the chickens are happy out here? Do you think he would like one for dinner? No. Oh, he's gonna. Chicken's coming and looking at you. I'm bagging up. Somebody wants chicken for dinner. Hi, Mister. Do you want chicken? You don't ever even think about it. You ever think about it? We got chicken eggs. <laughs> Are you telling him you got chicken eggs? <laughs> On the last step of our chicken coop or almost the last step Nolan is putting metal on the roof and the other thing he just got done doing today was he dug a ditch out to our coop um, so he dug electricity out so we're gonna have a switch a light in the inside and also a receptacle so we can like keep water from freezing during the winter and then he might actually put some a light in the goat shed as well which will be really really nice for when we go out there later but I won't be showing that in this video for electricity. Wash it off. No, you can do yeah. it. Oh, don't tie it for you, Dad. Yeah, leave it. Hope you all enjoyed this video and if you want a really awesome door for your chickens that automatically goes up and down make sure to check out chick safe links below 
we are loving it it's just carefree goes up and down every day the chickens come in and they go out it's perfect hope you all enjoyed this video we'll see you in the next one oh, the home this is our home this is the cage that's mommy there upon this ladder there's been in this the chickens there's the chickens there and there is the cage Hey. Like a bop bop bop. Oh, we do it. This is my egg. This is the basket. And there, there's Ben. There. Get in there, Coco. Get in there.